Hi everybody! It's Amy Cudmore coming at you from the Broward College Student Life. I'm so excited. It's Wellness Wednesday. I'm going to be rolling out a new series called Bite Size Bits. Are you intrigued? I hope you are. As a healthy living lifestyle coach and professional in the health and wellness industry, I get asked so many questions, broad topics, vast topics. And so what I want to do in this Bite Size Bit series is take a large topic and narrow it down to Bite Size Bits so that at the end of it, you can walk away with just a bit of knowledge that you can apply to your goals for a healthy living lifestyle. So are you ready to get started? We have our first topic today, macronutrients. I know, exciting. Let's go. Okay, macronutrients. Macro meaning large. Nutrients meaning nourishment. Large nourishment. Your body needs large amounts of these nutrients. Make sense? In other words, food, fuel, that's what macronutrients are. What do they do for your body? Literally give you energy, help you think clearly, help you retain information, help you live and function healthy lifestyle. Okay. So, what do they look like? Hmm. Oh, hello, right here. They look like this. They can be broken down into three categories. You have carbohydrates, you have proteins, and you have fats. Healthy fats, of course. Many different foods. Balance. So important for balance. If you look up a Venn diagram on macronutrients, you're going to see that the circles of carbohydrates and the circles of protein and the circles of fats intersect in different areas. And a combination and balance of all of these ingested will help you grow strong in health. So let's break it down. We'll talk about carbohydrates first. Deal? Let's go. Okay, let's begin with our first macronutrient category, carbohydrates. Now carbohydrates get a really bad reputation. I want to tell you something today. They are not the enemy. What do they look like? Here's an example of some. Yeah, I do recommend you stay away from processed of any sort, especially carbohydrates. Eat fresh, eat raw, eat well for your body for optimum energy. Let's talk about the purpose of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are your first line of energy. The USDA, United States Department of Agriculture, actually recommends 45 to 65 percent of your diet based on a 2,000 calorie a day diet, recommends carbohydrates, not the enemy, okay? Let's break down carbohydrates even further. Simple carbohydrates, what are they? Fruit, for example. We'll, we'll talk about fruit today. It's digested very quickly and absorbed efficiently for energy. Your body breaks it down into fructose and it's released as your body requires you to even think, to breathe, to move, to live. Okay, so simple carbohydrates. An example, all right here. Complex carbohydrates. Okay, we talk about vegetables. We talk about the starchy carbo carbohydrates like the bread or rice, granola, oats, pasta. These are complex mainly because they take a little longer to digest and break down to provide energy. But their main purpose is for energy. Carbohydrates are not the enemy. 
enjoy them. Okay, our next category in the macronutrients, proteins. Ta-da! Proteins are really popular, especially with all of the diets today. Protein, protein, protein. You do need protein, it's true. The USDA recommends 10 to 35% of your diet be protein that you consume. Now, if you're working out on a regular basis, that's probably on the higher end, the 35%. If you're not very active, it's time to start being active, by the way. However, if you're not very active, then you can probably be a little more on the conservative side, the 10%. And remember, this is based on a 2,000 calorie um, everyday diet. So, your purpose of your proteins, what does your body need this macronutrient for? I'm glad you asked. You need proteins to build, rebuild, and maintain your healthy, lean body mass. So important. So remember, carbohydrates for energy, protein for restoration. They are. You have your meats, lean meats, you have poultry, you have salmon, which also doubles as a healthy fat, you have eggs, and also dairies included in that, some legumes, which are beans and nuts, seeds, healthy nut butters, which are also in the healthy fats category. See how that Venn diagram works. A tip for consuming protein, very important. If it's in the building, rebuilding, and recovery, here's your hint, right? After a workout, consume some type of protein 30 minutes to an hour after, um, you know, a workout so that your body will have what it needs to rebuild. When your body breaks down protein, turns it into amino acids, which is a micronutrient, and your body needs these amino acids because they're building blocks for protein. See why they're necessary for building, for rebuilding, and recovery of your lean muscle mass. So I suggest that you consume protein after a workout. That's my tip today. Lots of good stuff. Enjoy your protein. Third category, fats get a bad rap. For real, we need healthy fats. Third category in our macronutrient Venn diagram. As you can see, some of the healthy fats, salmon for example, avocados, you have your nuts, they were in other categories. I'm gonna let you try to remember which categories, carbs or proteins, maybe both, they go in. Fats, let's talk about fats. There are many different kinds of fats, but I'm just gonna talk about a couple. One, trans fats. Hmm, what have you, what have you heard about trans fats? They are saturated fats that are usually processed, okay? They're, that's where they take a liquefied oil and they process it so it's solid. You do not want to consume anything with hydrogenated oils in it. Big warning sign, your body cannot digest hydrogenated fats. Those are not your healthy fats. So now that we got the bad guys, the bad fats out of the way, let's talk about the good fats. Saturated fats, minimally okay. Like you could have some butter, or clarified butter, um, which means that they take out the lactose in butter. You can try that minimally. But then you have really great fats here in the form of nuts, oils, even olives. They have a lovely fat content in it that your body will use, and dairy minimally. Yeah, it's, there's a lot there. The benefits of healthy fat. One, stores the energy that your body needs to function at its fullest optimum capacity. That's what we all want, right? 
We want to be able to think. We want to be able to remember. We want to be able to live. We want to be able to exercise and fully live. So you need the healthy fats. Fats do not make you fat. Unused stored sugar makes you fat. That's why we have to move. We have to move. We have to move. Not a sedentary lifestyle. Okay, and you can check out some of our healthy living fitness classes that will get you moving and keep you moving. Okay, shameless plug. Anyways, so fat stores energy that you need for daily living activities. Okay, it also protects your organs and it's around your midsection. It's called visceral fat. It cushions all of your organs and keeps them safe very important, right? And you get these from healthy sources right here. These are just a few examples. Remember, bite-sized bits, wet your whistles. And then also, this one thing that's really crucial, fat is essential in the production of some of the hormones you need to keep your balanced chemistry in order. Very, very important. So, consume your healthy fats in a balanced fashion. The USDA suggests that you consume 20 to 35% of your diet. So just as a recap on the fats, trans fat, no, those are completely saturated fat and your body has trouble digestion, digesting them and will just store them and they're not good for you. Two, saturated fats, minimally, just minimally you can enjoy them. Three, healthy fats, woo! Unsaturated fats, those are the fats you want to consume for total body wellness. So there you have it, macronutrients. Just as a recap, three categories. Do you remember what they are? A healthy, carbohydrates, protein, and healthy fats. Macro, large nutrients nourishment for our bodies. The key when thinking about the macronutrients is really balance. It's so important to eat a healthy, balanced diet. We want to go far and we want to do it well with the energy we need to just enjoy the lives we have, don't we? So happy consuming of your macronutrients. I hope you've enjoyed this bite-sized bit of information and you walk away with some nugget of knowledge to help you fuel your body to get you to your goals. Let's soar high together. Thank you so much for joining me today. Enjoy your macronutrients. Until next time, bye-bye.